Ah, oh, the mighty, mighty Netflix. Am I right, guys? And the mighty, mighty Netflix. A million shows a day. A million shows an hour. How many fucking views do they get? I don't know. Are they? And you know, are they? Are they competing with television? Why can't they kill fucking cable? You know, because all those fucking shows on cable are just squatting. They're just squatting. I mean. Fuck, dude, we pay $13 a month for no fucking ads? No fucking ads, and here's another thing. Netflix. You're not running ads, but you're charging a flat rate. Dude. Here's, here's another thing to think about. If Netflix had ads and you paid the flat rate, like Hulu. I mean, Hulu has ads, you know what I'm saying? Could they make m that much more money, right? That much more money to essentially, like invest more into their movies you know what i'm saying and then would that make them more powerful than cable is that the only way because if you think about it the only way the only reason really that cable television survives is they're able to put so much money into it it's nostalgic a lot of those channels are nostalgic like they're old as fuck those channel those channels and they've been exposed to, to so many people because that was the only form of entertainment you couldn't go on the fucking internet dude and as far as, you know, a lot of people becoming used to getting a TV and, you know, and, and I think another thing is not being able to have a computer. So if you think about it, people were st a lot of people were still watching TV rather than going online until, you know, phones came along and then phones were made everything easier. But even still, I bet you there's people that watch TV and don't even watch shit on their phone. And I've met people like this. You know, they don't even have a fucking phone. They don't even have a smartphone. They don't know how to operate a fucking flip phone, guys. So you got to think about these certain things, you know, especially a lot of old people. They're used to TV, and TV's been around forever. And it's such a shame, too, you know? I feel shameful looking back at fucking TV. And I know I'm not talking about the fucking show. I apologize. I'm not talking about the show, okay? <clears throat> um, which, you know, I, I guess it has something to do with the show. You know, technically, it's kind of a different angle on the show, but I guess it applies to all shows. And I'm basically, there's a lot of search results in Google Trends, so I'm just making a video on this video, on this movie, or show. I don't even know what it is. I apologize. I'm, I'm trying to talk about something else here, okay? But I'm trying to make it relevant, because otherwise it'll just go on YouTube and no one will find it. But I was saying, it's kind of shameful to think about the opportunities that people missed out on. If you look at all the people, would they have gotten approved in an audition? Say you go in for an audition, right, and you get denied. But the next day, if you were to audition, you would have had a better audition and got the part, right? And and if you think about that, people make a lot of videos to the point to where, you know, they have one that, that gets, gets some uh, notice. And they might have a couple videos that they don't get noticed with. And, uh... And, um... So, you know, that's the thing is, when you really think about some of these things, it's like, it's actually disgusting to look back on the history of entertainment and the opportunities that people have missed out on. And, you know, Netflix is like, you know, they only they only put on, like, highly criticized stuff or, you know, highly acclaimed stuff or stuff that, you know, you, you, like, if I pitched a show to them, they would, they would probably not buy it. I don't know, man. And my animation style can be kind of... A little bit different it's non-traditional it's not all clean cut because you know a lot of those shows a lot of those shows are kind of clean cut and a lot of them can be very you know i don't know it depends on what the fuck you're talking about when it comes to comedy i mean south park is such a i mean oh fuck i said south park in this video i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i didn't mean to say it. i didn't mean to say that dirty word but i was gonna say there there's such, there's such shitty animation i'm like oh yeah we we make up for it by writing, with our writing. Well, if you, you know, I don't know. It just doesn't work with them. Their, their writing and their shitty animation works because the, the characters don't even walk, they hop. Their characters hop, man. So anyways, um, it's probably better that they, that they, it's, you know, an, simple animation is, there's a lot of value in simple animation. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be all detailed. This guy isn't very detailed, you know? There's not very many shitty. Anyways, um, Point made. Point point put out there. And here's what's happening, guys. Is There's a competition happening right now between streaming services 
and cable television. Cable has lost out on so much over the years through the internet, through streaming. And we need, you know, it, it's such a shame. Like, I won't buy cable. I won't buy cable, bro. I'm not going to buy fucking cable, bro. I'm not going to buy cable. And I'm not going to spend $20 on a fucking season of DVDs that I don't even know if I'm going to fucking like. You know? And sometimes you only watch like three episodes. So you might think, oh, I need to buy this. And then you buy it. You know what I'm saying? That's why cable TV is fucking. That's why Netflix works, man. And, you know, as much as that's, you know, it's almost like a scam sometimes. You buy something you don't like, you know, without, you know. We need to test ride it, test ride it a little bit. Sometimes you watch a movie for an hour and you're like, I can't fucking do this shit. And sometimes you just have movie, you know, and here's another thing. Sometimes I just have movies in the background, dude. Because people are so concerned about the criticisms about a movie and everything that's happening in a movie. I'm, a lot of time I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm just throwing a fucking movie on. I don't fucking care. And sometimes it's interesting. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it seems like you've already seen every fucking movie there is to, known to man. So it's like, well, I'm going to go over here and do something else and watch a game or stream a video game because that can be more interesting to a certain extent. At least, you know, at least if you're watching a fucking gamer's stream, then they're talking in a real sense. You know, at least they're talking. They can talk to you and, and the entertainment is very much more interactive and much more relatable and real than than a fucking some some character in a fucking movie anyways. But, you know, I think that, I think that the whole Hollywood, bull, you know, bullshit way of doing things and cable television and a lot of these things are dying off. And um, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take, man. I don't know what the future, I think there's always going to, there's always going to be a spot for movies and, and, you know, that kind of entertainment. If there's always going to be a spot for movies and different YouTube fucking creators like me that just make bullshit videos talking about a bunch of bullshit a bunch of meaningless bullshit, but um. Anyways, um. With with that, um. Uh. Over and out. Um. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um. That's it. Have a good day.